You want to just start it? Yeah, let's do it. I can hope for the best. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's only going to be like 45 yeah, minutes show. I, I feel like yeah. we're good. Yeah, yeah, bring it out. This is a quick one, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Tasteless Gentlemen. All the boys and zigs are back for another long-awaited episode. It's been too long. Way too long. It's yeah. cooled down. It's way cooler. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it was too hot to even function inside the house. It and was. Do a show, so. I checked my thermostat during that week when we didn't do an episode, and it was ninety-one in my house. We do love, you, we love you guys, but we don't love you that much. <laughs> do, you, do you even put clothes on? Like yeah. at that point, if it's ninety-one in your I house, I mean, no joke. I'm just walking around. Just if I'm like sweeping my floors, I, I have sweat dripping off my face. It's, I just, just was sweating like Shaq at the free throw line. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much. It, I felt it's like also I just crazy humid basketball. over here. It's yeah. not just. It has yeah. Been. yeah, yeah. It's been gross. And it's, I don't have AC. Yeah. I'm poor. It was, <laughs> it was legit hitting like 80% humidity, yeah. Yeah. which is not fucking normal. Yeah, for, but then it used to be. It used to be summers in Southern California were just hot. Just hot, yeah. It was never like fucking San, San Diego would never really hit hot, though. Like San Diego would get like a few days where you'd get like over 90 and that's it. Yeah. Cite your sources. Yeah. <laughs> Cite those fucking hey, sources. Hey, there are buffalo in California, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Citation needed. <laughs> I, 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 it's been hot as fuck, but uh, we're going to try to get more shows. We've been slacking. It's really hard to coordinate all four people at this to get everyone at the same time again this is not our job yeah i mean you, know. you want to pay yeah. us we'll do this all the time just for you guys yeah we're gonna have to start up a patreon yeah, yeah. right Fuck it. speaking of schedule and shit man i'm leaving in like an hour 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> that's all right though we're, Fuck gonna it. we're just gonna start doing shows from the dj booth wherever dom's at <laughs> I'm, I'm with that I think that's a great idea. Just bring chicks up and interview them in the DJ booth. Can oh. you can you cancel out that sound? Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say nothing sounds more annoying. Just play the same song throughout the entire set. It's like when they do interviews at festivals with DJs, and all you hear in the background is. I hate I hate any interview of people anywhere at any function. I thought you were just gonna say any interview of anyone at no, any time anywhere. Like an interview, fine, but when you when like some like cheesy fucking local reporter. Is interviewing oh, somebody worst. at like some surfing event. Like, watch the fucking local news in San Diego. And any local news is Any worst. local news, yeah. It's horrible. And they'll like interview some people at whatever, like, you know, surfing charity, charity function. Mm -hmm. And they ask like the stupidest fucking questions. So, did you hang 10 today, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. You fucking yeah. wanker. <laughs> Except you get the, the guy that pitted. So yeah, pitted. Yeah, exactly. You get that guy. Yeah, that's a great, one of the greatest really videos is, of all ever. time. <laughs> well, what was, um, wasn't there some guy who did like a local, local news broadcast and he had to do sports for the first time? And he had like some horrible fucking tagline that he completely botched. <laughs> I, I didn't I can't, I can't, I'm having to figure out what it was. It was like the worst fucking thing ever. Did you see, I, I'm sure you see the one where the, the black news reporter was out in the field, like literally a field. And he goes from like very professional to ghetto in 0.3 seconds. <laughs> yeah, and flies in his mouth. <laughs> He's like, this country, Man, this mother country ass <laughs> motherfucking shit. Get me the fuck out of here. Or, oh, shit. <laughs> or how about that woman who was uh, crushing the wine grapes? Oh, the, that's, the, that's all time too. Yeah. Yeah. That's top 20. <laughs> She did. She really fucks herself up, she though. Did. Like it, it literally sounded like a fucking rib punctured her lung. Yeah, and I think someone in the back goes, "Oh dear lord!" Yeah. <laughs> oh no, yeah, she, she, a, a fucking male or female reporter on, in the studio is like, "I hope she's okay." <laughs> The, the funny thing is, is like, she probably fell like a good, what, like four feet? I yeah, think. it was on her she head, knocked though. The, yeah. yeah, she knocked yeah. the wind out. Remember um, when you were a kid and you got the wind knocked oh, yeah, out of you? Like, I thought you were your dead. Your world was ending. But yeah. one, of my, one of my friends used to do, um, used to work for uh, um, doing like risk management for, uh, for a big company that did solar panels. And he's like, the number one thing that we always had to tell these people was like, most work-related deaths happen. Um, under six feet above ground like you're not high on a rooftop it's usually like you're on like two or three feet above whatever it is what because right, you're, you you're not being cautious you're not being cautious you're not paying yeah, attention you don't think attention. you're gonna get hurt yeah so you snap your neck so yeah, yeah head trauma or like what she did where you just fucking eat shit like face first fuck can you i fuck that shit right dying some dumb way like that 
tearing a solar panel up a of a three foot ladder yeah, oh, and you yeah. fall over and fucking just, die. Yeah, a just, step stool yeah. slips. You're just walking up to somebody's front door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, oh, that's oh, it. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the worst though is that fucking someone's gotta tell the story at your funeral. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, he had a good life, I guess. <laughs> I can't, I can't watch videos where people like fall and break limbs. I used to be able to watch them all the time and t- awkward, until man. I broke my wrist, and now I can't fucking do it. I can't fucking watch that snap because I just hear it in my head every fucking time. You ever seen that fat dude who's uh, he skateboard? He's he's a big boy, yeah. but he, you can tell he's a good skateboarder. He's a big boy, and he does. I don't remember what it was, but uh, it's, it's some kind of slide, and he. He comes off and he just his ankle. I mean, it's all one motion. It's like there's nothing snap. even there. It just snapped. It was in slow motion. Yeah, slow motion. And it just like folds over gently. <laughs> just <laughs> it's crazy. It's I can't do. I know that feeling. It was yeah, so horrible. fucking awful. Yeah, I horrible. know your shirt reminds me of that. Did you see they just did one of those surgeries? Like it was all oh, over yeah, Nat the, Geo. The face yeah, yeah, off yeah, thing. Yeah, face yeah. off. Did they? Yeah, yeah they, it was the first face, full it was one. A right? Face transplant. I was, yeah. I was walking in PB and some black dudes were like, "Is that an Obama shirt?" And I was like, what? "Oh, it is the same colors as the, uh, the Shepherd Ferry Obey." <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember uh, Obama phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. not Obama phone. <laughs> He's like, "Yo, what's up with your number?" Oh, man, got hit me on the Obama phone. Fool. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> the funny thing is, I didn't even know how to respond because, like, I was like, "It's obviously not John Travolta." Yeah. But I was like, "Oh no!" Like, it's Nick Cage. But that's still. And then he's looking yeah, at. He's like, "No, it says John Travolta." You dumbass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of those where you just nod and go, uh, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah." It's yeah. Obama. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it is. Yep. 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 So Obama is a white man. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's like wearing these Crocs. Uh, everybody says something. Yeah, you're at the store. Oh, I said something the moment you walked yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what have they said to you? Some girl. I uh, was just at a, a, a grocery store by my house. And I've, I've seen this girl a few times. She works there. And uh, she just screams as I'm walking out. What are you wearing? What Wait, are those? This, <laughs> what are those? Was this grocery outlet or Barron's? Barron's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I only go to Barron's, baby. Sorry, I forgot who I'm talking yeah, to. Yeah, Barron's. What the fuck is Barron's? Is that the one in Point it's Loma? Like, yeah, it's like a, it's like a high end. It's kind of like a it's Gelson's like or Whole Foods. High end. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this guy. It is. It's what it is. Yeah, it's yeah. expensive fucking It's, a, it's like store. Sprouts, but uh, maybe a little bit more expensive. It's, it's like expensive. That. Yeah, yeah. It's like some healthy I go gay to, shit. I go to grocery outlets. Yeah. I'm ghetto. As yeah, I go to food for less. What's up? He said healthy gay shit. That's like saying that's like being mad when people put on sunscreen. Wait, he said <laughs> wait, he said healthy gay yeah, shit. No, 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 no. Dom, Dom said healthy gay shit. It's like oh, you're being healthy. That's some gay, that's some gay shit. shit. <laughs> Fucking fag putting this on sunscreen. This nigga's eating salad. <laughs> <laughs> He's eating beans. <laughs> Look at him. This nigga's eating beans. <laughs> Oh, healthy shit, man. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I think the gayest shit all of us have ever done at one point was probably drinking vodka and cranberries at, a, at getting bottle service. I still do it. <laughs> it's not the fuck. You know what, though? There are way fruitier drinks than fucking vodka cran. I don't know. You think so? I, I mean, mean, you could order a fucking apple teeny. That would be worse. Yeah, okay, sure. but very few. As far, I, I as, far as drinks you would actually drink at a bar. But I mean... As Scoop said, you know, it's like if you have bottle service and you have vodka, with the, I'm not drinking, I don't even like vodka. At this so. point, wouldn't you yeah. just get whiskey to, to avoid all the bottle rats yeah, trying to come and drink Yeah, but shit? if you're at a table where it's like you don't have a choice and somebody else ordered it, it's like, what the fuck are you going to do? Oh, yeah. And also at a certain age when they, the bottle rats come over, yeah. <laughs> you, you don't even deal with it. It's like when you're 22, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. my God, there's a girl, a vagina close to me. Nice. Dude, the moment, <laughs> the, the moment that bottle is empty. They're like, oh, fucking the moment. It's like roaches when the lights come <laughs> on, dude. And you don't know. Scattered. And they're and they're at the table next to you. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, when you're young, you just don't know. And then the worst is too is when you're there early and then you finish the bottle and then the VIP hosts are like, Oh, time to go. Yeah. <laughs> so now you've lost your girls and your table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's only twelve o'clock. Right. Yeah. And you fell in love and now she's hanging out yeah. with a drug dealer. And now yeah, now the drug dealers and the, and the promoters are all here and yeah. they're and they're they're pulling the same girls that were that you were talking to just ten minutes before. And they're smoking a blunt. And like they wouldn't even let you bring the weed in, and yeah, they're yeah. smoking a blunt. They've got the nose beers on the table. Yeah, your poor girl. No, I love you, <laughs> baby. No, come back, dude. Bottle service in certain clubs, like the higher end clubs, it's insane with the shit you, they let you get away with. Where they, yeah, they don't even let you get away with it. They just turn a blind eye. Well, that, that's why they have the private rooms and those yeah. types of places too. So it's like we really, you're not gonna get caught because so long as 
nobody takes pictures and posts that you're good to go. That's why I like those day parties, what, like sunburn or whatever it's called. Yeah. yeah if you go with the pool? right people, then you're like up in the hotels. You're looking down at all the peasants. All the peasants. peasants as they bake in the sun. I look down upon yeah. you. Just hawking <laughs> loogies. From my pedestal <laughs> isn't that isn't that the move with those it's like go meet some girl tell her you got some blow back in the hotel room yeah of course <laughs> we got some booze got some blow go and there's always that one guy who never leaves the room yeah, yeah. and he's just always there like waiting for everybody to come back and they're yelling at me this dude's wearing crocs <laughs> <laughs> fuck fag and look he's, he's, he's putting sunblock on <laughs> and he's eating beans <laughs> <laughs> that's what you should do is next time you're at one of those is have a thing of baked beans and like a martini glass <laughs> when, you, when you come back and just when you ask her if she wants a drink just pour two baked bean yeah. glasses just, in there just the can though yeah. and then yeah. have a can opener in your and then, pocket and then, yeah. and then put some uh, some vodka in it and be yeah. like oh no this is the new this is the new thing this new health is wealth baby <laughs> health is wealth <laughs> A baked, baked bean and vodka cocktail is that's the fucking vomit thing. inducing, dude. The <laughs> funny thing is, is you could tell some girl that's like, the, oh no, they're doing this in like in like Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. This, this, this is like a big thing in Brooklyn. I yeah, just came yeah. back from there. She'd be like, oh, oh, really? And then yeah. she'll be telling all her friends, taking pictures, I just, posting I just on Instagram. Got back from Ibiza. Ibiza. <laughs> I oh hate when God. people say that <laughs> shit. I beat that. Those type of people deserve a fucking scissor kick to the head. I have a friend who's from Spain and he he has an accent pretty yeah, he- a deep one. I think it's Castilian that speaks. Yeah, that, that and he, he did it. And at first, my initial reaction was, you know, it's like when somebody says niche or niche. You know, I like, was literally just going to use your that Your initial as an reaction example. was like, you motherfucker. I was like, oh, no, that's actually how you're supposed to say it. Fuck. I was like, I can't Wait, even is it at that. niche? Because I thought it was Who niche. Who the fuck knows? I, you're a grammar person like myself. I used to say niche, and then everyone I fucking so here, heard here, say here, it here's said what niche. I'll, here's what I'll say, is that it could very well be both. See, that's how fucked up the English language is. It really is. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like pleaded and pled. Dude, can you imagine mm, being someone yeah. who doesn't speak English and trying to learn our language? There's, oh, a, bunch, there's a bunch of words that... Are, mean a few things here though. yeah the worst is whenever i see somebody correct it like if you spell whiskey with an e yeah they're like no it's not that it's both you fucking idiot yeah, that's you true. sound stupid you sound stupid right. when you try to correct people we're scared we're scared we're scared that's still I one of the watch, greatest I need fucking to watch that again tonight. Can, can somebody, does somebody remember the name because i don't oh, remember the God. name it's with the guy who's in all the simon Pegg movies um that's one of the remember. greatest videos. Uh, really ever. Yeah, and there's another one too where they did where he uh, where he wakes up next to some ugly chick. Here, you guys he, talk and, amongst yourselves. And he, I'll yeah, and he tries to sneak out. Yeah, and then he looks at the picture and it's his wedding photo with the chick. <laughs> <laughs> and his son walks by and he's like, "Hey, dad!" And he's like, oh, "Fuck." fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so give me some other keywords to search. I want to find the name um, of this for everybody watching. Fuck God, why can't I? I remember can't just the search name? whiskey with yeah. exclamation Honestly, points. yeah, do like. Um, so search IMDb for the the other main character in Shaun of the Dead, not Simon Pegg, but the other guy. That the first, and it'll probably come up on his IMDb. You want me to just search Shaun of the Dead? Shaun cast? of the Dead, and then IMDb. It'll probably come up with the. You can look at the cast. Everyone is in the comments right now. Yeah, like no, I already right? fucking found it. <laughs> These douchebags. Well, when I hear that, when I hear the name, it's man something man. Fuck, Gina. <laughs> man, Gina. But that isn't the first skit. He's with the girl, and they're talking, and he's like. Yeah, it's it's where like he, he every time he tries to hit on a woman uh, and he finds out she has a boyfriend, he like, gets all pissed off. Dude, and it's hilarious. Like, isn't one he drops a, a it was like a terrarium? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Terrarium. yeah. Wait, it's not um fucking Dylan Moran, is it Moran? I don't know the guy's name. Who the fuck knows? Yeah, who knows? What's this the, is good what's, radio, right? What's, here? Yeah, no. What's the char- What's the character's name? I don't fucking know, dude. No, no, no. What's the character's name that he, that you're looking at on oh, IMDb? Uh, John David. Travolta. David is his name. Um, what does he look? Oh, uh, dude, just look it up yeah, on your phone. You know up. what the fucking search. Anyway, when he finds this, you got to watch it because if you haven't seen it, it's fucking gold. I, I want to know because we were talking about this before the show. I want to know about this flesh eating STD. Dude, I didn't know shit about it today until I was at a high-end grocery store. Oh, shit. Whoa! Procuring some high-end items. <laughs> He's eating baked beans! Yeah, I was procuring beans <laughs> and I was, I was getting getting drinks for a Bush's cocktail. Um, no, some chick behind me was on her phone, and she was talking about some fucking flesh-eating STD. And I kind of looked at eavesdropping, thinking to myself, like, did she really say that? And I listened for a couple more minutes. I'm like, holy shit, she did. Sure enough, I Googled it on my phone. Fucking flesh-eating STD. Whoa. 
It just, it, uh, I guess is it, it like pop- a form of herpes or no, it's a, it, I'll give you the name. Hang How on. do you get it? Uh, well, usually STDs are contracted through sex. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Intercourse? No, it's wrong. when your girlfriend sits on a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> See, this um, is so it's called it's called Man Stroke Woman. Is the okay. the STD now? It's the show. It's called Man Stroke Woman. Uh, uh, research has warned flesh eating STD makes comeback after found in great England. word choice. <laughs> uh, the disease is painless, so you got that going for you. But that no, that's worse. Um, yeah. That's worse because then you don't know. You're just chilling next. Thing you know, you got a hole in your gooch. Yeah, you're at the gym and your how balls about, are out of the bag. <laughs> how like, about this? How fuck? about this phrase? Devours the flesh around the genitals. Oh, the only word, the only way I want devour used when it's involving my genitals is if she's swallowing my penis. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if she's devouring my dick. <laughs> Or the peanut butter around your dick? Yeah, Poor anything, anything in that Poor area. Zigs. Poor Ziggs. Hey, it, how not, dare you? It doesn't matter because it's life. your dog. <laughs> it's called Donavanosis. Donavanosis? Donavanosis? Holy shit. Isn't, isn't that a steakhouse? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's more commonly found in parts of India, Papua New Guinea, Caribbean, Australia, and Africa. Oh, the human oh so races. dirty ass yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, fuck yeah. that. Disease is extremely rare in the United States with about 100 cases reported each year. Damn. I was getting ready to go to Australia, too. Might have to uh, cancel that trip. Just bring a condom. Nah. One condom. I feel like that little bug is just going to jump, like, around the condom. Dude, we are so close to having an STD that, like I said, we discussed on the show before, like, as soon as you enter someone who has it, your dick explodes. It just... Yeah. Dude, I mean, we... If that happens, they got to direct, like, military towards that. That's the enemy. It's like that the outbreak. Is. Yeah, it's, the it's outbreak like, monkey. You got to turn everything on that, that bad boy. That sounds like a religious allegory to get people to stop fucking. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Like, oh, Timmy had sex down the street. Now he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Might not want to do what that. What happens? If you have sex. <laughs> but what if that happened? I mean, they got to they got to change all resources. I mean, it has been a while though since we've had a new STD, so I think it's only a matter of time. Well, people stop fucking animals, so fuck. Oh, he says you. Well, I mean, AIDS is proven for to be a myth. Speak for yourself. <laughs> speak for yourself. <laughs> goat pussy is still pussy, baby. Yeah. Like if you died fucking a goat, you know, you don't want to have that on your fucking record. No, you don't. Yeah, you, Scoop you can't was a good come guy back. and he went out doing what he loved. You can't. You really can't come back nah. from that. I mean, that's like that dude who was uh, fucking that horse. Well, that horse yep. was fucking him. Oh! And he died, Mr. Haynes. How could you ever? <laughs> how could you ever take a horse cock? I mean, you just bite the pillow. I mean, and I think your uh, anal cavity is capable of miracles if you really want it to be. Yeah, yeah. You throw quarters down like how, a, quarters think, down like a fucking wishing well. I think well, what's like, more amazing isn't how your rectum could handle it, but how what sort of mental state you're in to say, "All right, hang on, Bob, give me a second. Let me just get comfortable." <laughs> All right, go for it. Well, and that's also not step one. You know what I mean? No, yeah, that's it's like you have to you, arrange it. You start. You start with a pony. <laughs> yeah, you start no, but with I a mean, you have inch. to book a flight to to Washington State. You got to talk to the guy who runs the fucking horse brothel. Like this is Washington a, State. Was that where I it, was? Yeah, it was? Yeah, it was Washington State. Yeah, I was gonna say you go to TJ. Well, they got because they got busted. It was like a full. Uh, it was a bunch of animals. It wasn't just horses. Oh, that was a real thing. It was a whole sting. A whole FBI sting of, of animal brothel. All <laughs> kinds of yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Because it was one of the only states where it was still legal or something like that. Could you imagine imagine walking around with that kite runner shame in your head all the time, knowing that you're fucking animals at a brothel? Or if you're running it. You're running, you're sitting back, you're watching your 70 inch TV. Hey, hey, there's a there's a market, <laughs> and you're on you're on Craigslist looking for new fucking gators to fuck or whatever they do. Isn't there's a pet section? Ugh. It was like, oh, a weasel. Well, you know, have, hey, you, ever, shit. have hey. you ever have you ever seen bestiality porn? Have you ever seen it? I mean, I've seen a couple dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. on accident. But to of. me, that's like mm, I remember dogs one. having fun. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, good for the dog. Nasty I remember bitch. I saw oh, one when I was that, a kid. They, they, we probably all. Fucked a Fuck chick. A horse? No, we've already, we've probably all fucked a girl who's had a dog lick her pussy before. What? <laughs> oh, you think so? I think so. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> you think so? I think so. Oh man. I mean, I. Uh, I'm saying no fucking shot. Yo, in for hell. sure. What you, you don't think? I think it's probably a you're girl's saying, let it happen. You're talking like it's common that. Uh, we, let's ask her. No, no. But I, I, I the two ask. girls that watch the show yeah. are going to be. Like, Have you guys had dogs lick your vaginas? It's a fair yes. Question. I'm, I'm just, I mean, I bet it's ha- maybe once on accident. Like, are you talking that they did it more than once out of enjoyment or it's like one time drunk at a fucking, at her friend Jennifer's house? <laughs> either either She's or. She's like, hey, have you ever had Rufus lick you like yeah. this? 
I want to sit know? on Ziggy's face. <laughs> I think either. I think either or. I think maybe one time they let it happen. One time they. I want fucking women to chime in and, and on this. Yeah, they're gonna leave sure. comments. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but because there are some girls that have weird relationships with their dogs. Like white, white people. Yeah, but <laughs> fucking like giving dog food out of your mouth or something that to that effect is a lot. Different I'm just than saying, spread eagle. If like, she's come here, spot. She slammed that bad boy in there, and the dog burp, comes in. He's like, mm, he'll take a little sniff. She's like, get out of here, and he takes a couple of little. Sniffs. I mean, I don't know. Know. When, when I when I had a dog, uh, <laughs> I would be having sex, and it would try to jump on the bed and like get all crazy yeah. and shit. Like, yeah, dogs do weird shit. Yeah, when you're fucking the mo- the, that the, big the, dick energy. <laughs> 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 the moment, the moment, like there starts to be a lot of motion. All of a sudden, they want in. Like yeah. it's it's like that one homie who never. Gets laid, yeah. <laughs> who like thinks because you're about to hook up, he joined too, yeah. and you're like, "Yo, stay the fuck away, dude." Bah, bah, dude bah, 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 this bah, bah. one right here fucking judges the shit out of me when I jerk off, dude. Like <laughs> he looks at me like you're disgusting, and then leaves the room every time. He leaves the room. He's like, "Fuck off." He's right. Fuck. Yeah. He's right. He's a stop shame. looking at that dog porn, <laughs> dude. I remember seeing he, know, a, he knows you're white, and he thinks you're ready to do something weird. <laughs> I remember seeing a chick blow a horse when I was a kid. Like this is one of the first. Oh, on, uh, yeah, 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 dude. That thing fucking blows a load in her mouth and you could see her cheeks like fill up and then it shoots out and shoots out and shoots out it was so disturbing i couldn't stop watching it i'm like could you imagine having that job where you have to jerk off a horse Dude, and like, you know someone has had that job that's no, a, job. a lot of people yeah. have those jobs yeah yeah oh yeah, yeah i guess so oh you mean when they're getting the horse semen yeah yeah and cows and all kinds of yeah shit. No, isn't like a, a horse pocket pussy that kind of yeah, put on you? yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like a giant yeah. sleeve. Yeah. It it's, is, like, it's, it's like it's like when people sleeve, who yeah. have tattoos wear it to keep the sun off the tattoos. <laughs> That's a horrible so job. Gross. And then he's he's jerking. Yeah, like, he's like, what do you do for a living? Oh, I jerk off horses and yeah, for sure. You don't say that. Right? Get you're like, it. A, you're like I, a, I'm a horse trainer. Hor- yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's what kind of horse? Right? What is it? Is that is that horticulture? Is that the profession? I don't know. Horticulture is with plants. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. I'm almost positive. That's viticulture. What? Viticulture. Viticulture? Yeah. I don't know. What kind I, of I, college I, graduate <laughs> bullshit is this? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure horticulture is uh, is this. for animals. I don't think so. I'll Google right now. But what, Horticulture? And what was the other one? Viticulture. I've never even heard viticulture, dude. That might just be wine. That might just be um, Put some money on this? Wine. Put some wings on this? Some <laughs> hot wings? <laughs> Some wangs. Some wangs. Yeah, gardening, horticulture, dude. Is it? Uh, yeah. And then what's ver- verticulture? I don't know, but now I need to know. <laughs> Learn something new every day. This nigga eating beans. <laughs> <laughs> I think viticulture is for wine. Is it viticulture? How do you spell it? I don't know. Anyway, yeah. back to horse fucking. <laughs> we're talking about horse fucking, yeah? No, yeah. We, we're, I'm still stuck on the fact that you guys uh, both are in agreement that you think most chicks have had a dog lick their vagina. I just don't think so. I don't think, I don't think most yeah, chicks have. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying that you've probably fucked one who has. Well, that's... How, okay, then let's... By that assessment, what percentage of, of women would you say have I'm, had... I can't, I can't just toss... There's no percentage can we do can one? Toss. And then one of the Instagram posts, can we do that? the survey one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That'll be an accurate We'll talk poll. about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We'll talk about it. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> like, wow, we got 100,000 responses, all yes. You guys were right. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, it's got to be... It's got to be... Ten percent, maybe ten percent. I all might girls. give it. I'm thinking five. And, and not like every day she comes home, but I one don't time, know. These, at least once. He's drunk. You can probably crazy. tell by the way her dog reacts when she walks in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Starts hovering, cowering Shoots in the corner. Shoots a load on the fucking or linoleum. He gets, he gets super excited. Yeah, yeah that too. <laughs> Pussy tastes like baked beans. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. We, we, this this bean and vodka cocktail needs to be called the tasteless gentleman. If anyone does it, it's got to be a tasteless gentleman. We can we can make one next episode. Yeah. Fuck it. We should we should get a craft bartender bartenderess to come on the show and just make drinks to for make, the fucking episode. We should have a drunk episode soon, huh? Yeah, it's yeah. Like a while. I feel like... we didn't even release the last one. Yeah, that's true. No, that was that was a, an annoying episode. <laughs> you, I, no, you're the only one who saw it. Was it as bad as you make it out? Yeah, to yeah. I told you yeah. guys. It was incoherent. Yeah. Just babbling yeah. senselessly. Yeah. Kind of like this. <laughs> yeah. But there's at so least no some, different. There's <laughs> at least some entertainment value to when we randomly and senselessly babble. That's Usually, true. I would no, say. That's true. Yeah. I mean, I'm obviously, with, some assholes like listening to yeah. us. I'm with the Carlos Rossi. I'm with that. 
Okay, yeah, yeah. We'll have another Carlos Rossi. That was a fun that episode. Was yeah, yeah, that was a fun episode. That was fun. The fucking what? The jugs of Rossi. Jugs? Oh my yeah. god, the hangovers off Rossi. Oh, it's all good, baby. That shit. Jesus Christ. Just drink that Pedialyte right after. That's some, true. Some Carlos Rossi and some baked beans. <laughs> Let's do it. We used to drink so much Rossi in fucking college. It was so fucking gross. Because really? yeah. it's cheap. It's cheap and good. Oh, it was like four ninety nine for a jug back then. Yeah, no, a gallon. Yeah, a gallon. Same, same with E and J. Oh my. Oh, that That's was the worst. E and J, what the fuck? Is Irk and that? Jerk, that Irk and Jerk baby. You never had E and J? It's like shitty brandy. Brandy, yeah. Oh, I mean, at some point in my travels, I may have encountered it, but I like, don't specifically remember. I'm not a fan of brandy to begin with, and bad brandy is just. Ugh. See, yeah. I, when I hear bad brandy, I think of like peach schnapps, dude. Is schnapps know. brandy? No, no, no. I'm saying that's just where my that's what I think of, like some bit, something that it would taste similar to. What what is schnapps? I don't even know. What the I fuck think it's just is. A, is it just liqueur? Is it? Yeah, it's like flavored liqueur. But what is a liqueur? I don't know what that is. It's, it's like a sugar, like a sugary sweet. liquor. I thought that was just another another way to spell liquor. It's yeah, yeah, sweet and yeah. thick, like my like dick. <laughs> um, <laughs> is so, that how you tell the girls on Tinder? <laughs> it's sweet and <laughs> they, like they, they call they call my dick Southern Comfort <laughs> all the time. My buddy, dude, I, I, this guy I, I know that uh, from the gym, dude, he's fucking like like. Six girls a week from off of Tinder right now. He's really? like, dude, it's on fire. He's like, I don't know. He's like, I don't know what like changed. Like something changed. It's that streak, Doug. You get in that streak sometimes. I'm still trying to find it. It's the swagger. <laughs> all, all, it's like it's like a hitting streak when you're in a slump and you get one hit and all of a sudden you're getting like three, you know, three in a row, four in a row. Now yep. you're batting seven hundred for the month. Fuck yeah. yeah. Six then you, chicks a week. Yeah, then that's when you gotta play the lotto, dog. You gotta do the lotto. Yeah. I mean, he he works from home, so he's just like, yeah, just all day, and then I just go out and bang some chicks, go home. Swipe. I mean, it, it might as well be worse. Ju- it might as well just be a hookup app at this point. Like, isn't like? I mean, isn't that what it is? Yeah, but do people still pretend like that they're, they're trying to find somebody. Aren't there other ones? Hinged. Hinge. Hinge was garbage. Hinge was trash. Isn't I don't it? know. Maybe it changed. But mm-hmm. and Bumble. Mo- coffee meets bagel. Mm-hmm. Coffee meets bagel is okay. That's, that's if you're it. trying to like get married, though, right? No, that's Christian yeah. Mingle. Yeah. I mean, uh, that I feel like it's a good spot to I go. Want, I want to try J date. J. Yeah, for the Jews, for sure. Yeah. What I mean, else they have is fucking, there? There's, they have date, they have dating apps for, or yeah, apps for fucking people who have herpes. I'm sure they have them for people who have HIV. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hepatitis keep fucking... C, Hep C dating. <laughs> yeah. there. I mean that that maybe you just get that just in case. Take a little peek around. See, uh... <laughs> hey, you can probably find. It. <laughs> I'm gonna get it anyway. <laughs> you, you, can, you can probably find a dime piece who's looking for a dude with herpes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hell yeah. I and mean, then at that point, I'll just take it. I mean, dude, I know a lot. A lot of my male friends have herpes. I know quite a few dudes who have herpes. That shit's scary. Yeah. And a few chicks. As yeah. Perfect. I mean, I think it's two out of three now. So w- it's uh, something like that. One of us in this room's got it. Well, but everyone has some all form. All of us. <laughs> yeah. We're playing the odds. This room got yeah. It. Everyone has some form, though, right? Yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Herpes? Yeah. yeah. Like really? if you've ever yeah. had a cold sore, that's the same virus. It's mm-hmm. just a different uh, strain. Yeah. Huh. I don't think I have. You, you got herpes. Good. Yeah, I got herpes. You got, herpes. You got, you got simplex nine and seven. <laughs> Fuck it. They just came up with that one. You have one. the flesh-eating herpes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In two weeks, it'll morph. Your dick will fall off. Oh, no. I need that. Yeah, the dog will be running down the block with that dick. <laughs> you just wake up and it's gone. He's got baked beans. <laughs> it's turned into like a little spider and it's walking down the fucking yeah. room. <laughs> I, the, flesh-eating, the, the flesh-eating thing is kind of freaking me out. I, I just don't. I like, mean, at least it's not painful. Yeah, I'm about to find yeah. a girl and get married at this point. <laughs> Dude, they said that Columbus was the one that brought syphilis to Europe. He probably did. I he heard brought that it back. Somewhere too, yeah. He brought it back from here. It wasn't even a thing. And then 1492. Hey, at least he was the first of something. Something. <laughs> Dude, and then they were saying that the hair, the hair with the powdered wig shit. That, that was because uh, uh. the king had syphilis and all his hair fell out. Then he wore a, he wore a powdered wig. And that's and then it became styled. Then they all started wearing powder wigs. And now they wear them in Parliament. <laughs> and now they still wear them. These goofy motherfuckers in court. Like who isn't somebody going to look at this and go, "All right, enough with this stupid tradition with yeah. this powdered wig thing." Imagine enough. like putting it on, being in that position where you have to fucking wear it. The UK is stupid. They probably I, do it in I, Australia. I just, just want to see. I, I just want to see the. I want to see the black politician have to wear it. <laughs> have to wear that. Do, they probably do it in Australia too. I bet you. Probably. They, they, pro- I they probably they do, do it. In I think South- they do actually. You guys are stupid too. All of you. Dumb. Like South Africa? Yeah, and South Africa. You're dumb. <laughs> I'm done with you. All other English speaking nations. Yeah, you're all dumb. Syphilis can kill you if you fuck if you don't get it treated. Yeah, yeah it's true. I think That's it's true. one of the few that can actually do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I welcome it. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> I mean I'm spent. With the way the world's going, it wouldn't be, you know, the worst way. So yeah. so hot summers like this, fuck it. Fuck yeah, it. Take yeah. me now, it's Jesus. It's too hot. I want syphilis. <laughs>
<laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. to Patty LaBelle. Was it Patty LaBelle? No. <laughs> no. That, was, that was a joke. I was like, dude, who died? No. Yeah, that was um, a joke because Fox News fucked up and it was Aretha Franklin who died and they uh, yeah. put up a photo of. Wait, did they. Was it Patty LaBelle's name or they put up a photo of. It was a of, photo. Yeah, of, yeah, yeah, it was a photo of Patty LaBelle and it said, R- uh, rest in peace, Aretha, Aretha Franklin. How do you fuck that, that up? That's, what I, was, that's what I was thinking. Like, Literally, that, just Google. <laughs> well, it's, it also has to go through more than maybe a couple channels, you yeah. know? It's like when you see a typo on a fucking, you know, a magazine advertisement or on a billboard. Like, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. That How that shouldn't fuck happen. Did this end up? In the day in the in the um age of the internet, I can understand it a little more because it's faster to yeah. you don't have to go through so many, you know, channels or whatever and you can change it at any point. But yeah, like something like that, like how do you fuck that up? That's that's so weird. I remember playing some uh Aretha Franklin kind of like routine that I do. I played it at Thrusters, people were like, What is this old shit? He's like, <laughs> what song was it? Um, it was one step, and I do like this little most death kind of th- kind of deal from that. Oh sample. yeah, I it, know. Yeah, I like, can't afford to stop. What is this old shit? I was like, ah, I fucking hate white these young damn fucking kids, college motherfuckers, dude. I just hate all people. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's annoying as fun. Was, they always uh, have something to say. We're all some, scum. Some, prof- yeah. <clears throat> some professor at uh, Rutgers. I don't know if he got fired or. I can't remember what if you got fired or you got suspended, whatever it was. He was um he was making a, a comment, like a joke about like white people in his gentrified neighbor in Harlem. Mm. So this professor is white and he's making this joke about how annoying white kids are in these gentrified neighborhoods because their parents don't tell them to shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. And he's like, Oh, they're just rolling around on the ground, like nobody tells them to stop. They run around, do whatever they want, and he's just like joking around, and he's like fucking white people, you know, like like that. Can't say that now. Can't, I can't say that now. So, um, so that what what's that group Turning Point USA, which is like supposed to be like pro free speech or whatever. Mm-hmm. They're they are now keeping a list of all of these professors, and they're watching shit that they say on like Twitter, on Facebook, whatever it is, and they're attacking them for whatever their reading lists are. Wow. So if they if they feel like their reading list isn't up to standard. Then they attack them and tell them that they should be fired. They try to get them fired. That, that wasn't exactly what I read a bunch of. That wasn't exactly what was going on, though. That's not exactly. <laughs> You're misrepresenting that quite no. a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's not exactly. No, it what wasn't it at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just saying that's not exactly what what the whole scenario. So is. they weren't trying to get people fired. No, no, them. that that is true. But there's way more to it than just that. I mean, you just kind of threw that out there, like, oh, that's it. There's way more to it than that little snippet of what's going okay, on. Okay, one of them because this has been happening the other way for a really, really long long time people are getting fired so why, why would you complain about it and then do it i think they're, they're more trying to prove a point i think that's more of what the no they're trying is. to get people fired. yeah they are they are yeah yeah no, they're they trying to it, get people fired yeah. like what's here's my here's always my point when it comes down to this if it just becomes an arms race it's a stupidity where does it end like at some point you have to stand by your principle and be like no i'm not going to be that fucking dude yeah, it's like fucking Jordan Peterson, you know, where he's like, I'm not changing the pronouns that have been in existence since the dawn of time because a small, very tiny group of fucking individuals are insisting. Have you seen that? Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, yeah, yeah. It's been all, I mean, I I personally love Jordan Peterson, dude. I yeah, think he's, he's a fucking awesome. brilliant dude. Yeah, yeah. But I love the fact that he's one of the few that said, fuck you. What was, it's like Z, G. Uh, I, don't even, I don't even know the other. Well, the, the thing that was funny about that, too, is he wasn't even saying, I wouldn't do it personally. He was just saying, I don't, yeah. it shouldn't be a law. That's all well, he was and saying. And the reason why he's talking about it is because he said specifically, I don't want to establish a precedent. Yeah. That's the danger in this fucking way of thinking. Yeah. It's like when you give someone an inch and they're just going to fucking take a mile. Yeah. You yeah. can't do that, dude. And that's my whole point with this. It's like, if you're really, if you really do have an issue about free speech and being able to say whatever you want, then your 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 point can't be, well, I'm just going to do what they do because then that just makes somebody else be like, all right, well, fuck that. Now I'm going to go balls to the wall and be like, well, your fucking guy sucks and we're going to get him fired and it's just going to never end. See, free speech just has to be what it is or nothing at all. Like, you can't, there's, you can't, or just subdivide it. Or just, and this is what I've always said, is like, at least wait to see if there's a protest. At least wait to see if your if your fucking sales numbers dip or your advertisement dollars dip before just firing somebody right away. Like that to me is my thing. Like the moment you allow a reaction from a bunch of people who really wouldn't have given a fuck or known any anyway uh, to get what they want, they're never gonna stop. They never fucking stop. Well, yeah, it's like those major corporations fucking apologizing to you know two people 
that posted on Twitter how they were offended about exactly. something they did. Because they, ne- they, don't even, they don't have to get off their computer. They never have to show up. You don't even know if they buy your fucking product. Yeah, he's out there talking shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck them. I agree. Yeah. Fuck them. And they, they probably have like five accounts. In there, and <laughs> it's t- only a matter of time till we get pulled from everything. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we're always fucking towing that line. And we're Absolutely. so much tamer. Any of you guys who are just now getting into the show, we are so much fucking tamer now than we have ever been. You have no option, though. No, it's I know. Not even yeah. Like, yeah. I know. That's what I'm saying. Everything online though. is. But that wasn't that no long option. ago. That was like no. two, three years ago. Just a couple years ago. You know? Even like, it's crazy on Twitter. You could say crazy shit. Now everything gets flagged. You can literally just fucking just put some chick getting piped yeah, on Twitter. That's true. And no fucking issues. I've jerked off to porn stars like the you know the compilations of Hell porn yeah. star Twitter feeds. For sure. Just go to the little media. It's yeah. a little media yeah. tab. Yeah. What you got? It's more personal there. Yeah. <laughs> and agree. now you just say you call somebody fat on Twitter and you can get banned. Like wow. for, it's bullying and harassment. I'm like, what the? F-? I mean, I get it, but Jesus Christ. To like, to me, I don't know. I guess. Throwing insults is one thing. Like to me, it, bullying would have to be like, are you going out of your way to harass this person? Yeah, are you showing up at someone's yeah, house yeah. and like painting swastikas on their fucking door? Yeah, what, what the, the online bullying thing where you can just block anybody and everybody? Yeah, yeah. And, it, and if they keep on creating new accounts, you block their fucking yeah. new Harden accounts. Harden the fuck up. Yeah. Like sure. it's not that difficult. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've blocked people just from. Just because they have an annoying fucking feed. I block people for poking me. <laughs> I, yeah, how do you even do that? I, that happens to me every once in a while. I don't even know how. So like you, poking? On, fa- yeah, on oh, Facebook. Poke, I don't yeah. even know how to do it. Every anymore. once in a while, one just comes through. My, yeah, randomly. Who the fuck knows how the, to do the that? random poke. Maybe like some dude for me. I'm like, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I, I what? used to do it as like a joke, but only to friends. But like somebody I know, yeah, not yeah. just a random. Like, oh, I agree. I almost had to block somebody on Facebook recently, too. For, for what? Um, for a joke I made about um, Omar Epps replacing Wesley Snipes. Oh, in, uh, uh, Major, in Major, League? Major League Two, yeah. yeah. And it was there was the most like. So here's the the structure of the joke, which you can it's interchangeable for so many different things. Essentially, the structure is, um, you know, biting into a chocolate chip cookie and finding out it's oatmeal raisin is the reason why I have trust issues. Yep. <laughs> It's not like supposed to be super funny. It's just kind of like a ironic commentary on well, life. If you have an iota of in, intelligence, yeah, you would get it. An exaggeration, you know, whatever. And so I, I said I, in the in the post, I was like, you know, I lost the my, my belief in the good faith in humanity when they tried to replace Wesley Snipes with Omar Epps in Major oh, League yeah. Two without without or hoping that people wouldn't notice. Wait, yeah, I remember his, that comment. What was I, his I didn't, nickname? In what was the movie? that? What was what was Snipes' uh, like um, name? Willie Willie Mays Hayes. Thank you. Yeah, Willie Mays Hayes. And the funny thing is, is they did try to slip that one past people. Yeah. Because they they didn't want to pay Wesley Snipes because he had become famous, like really famous. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, in between the two movies, and generally speaking, they if it's a big character like that, like in um like in the uh, Avenger movies, they told they they basically made it a big deal. We're replacing Terrence Howard with Don Cheadle. Because you weren't going to get that past anybody. And so, but the whole joke is like, yeah, they tried to slip it past people. Like, we wouldn't notice the difference between Wesley Snipes and fucking Omar Epps. And this dude comes in guns blazing <laughs> on me with like a fucking essay. He's like, well, what are you doing over here? You're just, uh, you're just virtue signaling, you know, whatever. Like, this is just so divisive. And so I was like going through this whole fucking like, like talking point thing. And I was just like, bro, relax. It's a joke. And then he goes into, well, if it's a joke, it's divisive. And he starts going on and on and on. And I was just, I couldn't fucking believe it. And I was just like, dude, what are you fucking talking about? And you go on this guy's Facebook feed and he posts. It's like I told Bradley earlier. It's like the fucking machinations of a fucking psycho. Like this dude has like 15 posts in an hour of like sharing like, you know, stuff about guns. And then, you know, about, you know, some like white nationalist rhetoric bullshit and like dude it's like non-fucking stop and he just posts shit like all in the same like hour how did you guys become friends it sounds like a, a fucking fan from the fucking show yeah, page right. you just uh, added you i mean yeah kind of he uh he used to be a promoter downtown did he really yeah that's, funny. that's probably why we're both friends with him on yeah, yeah. um but yeah like this dude like wouldn't fucking stop and then um and the thing is, this discussion's always so stupid because you tell a joke and then they always say, well, it wasn't funny. 
Well, all jokes don't have to appease you. Yeah, not only that, not all jokes are going to be funny. Yeah. All mine are. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Like, You're yeah. the only one, though, dog. Cool. I've uh, I've been to a comedy show where, where Colin Quinn fucking tanked, shit the bed, 10 minutes, not one fucking laugh in the crowd. Ooh, that's so awkward. It's, Even you and I talk about that, yeah, like, you can't even cringe. watch it. It's the worst. Hey, it's, do we want these lights on? Because I'm really We did, saying, but it's... Okay. They were too far down the rabbit hole. Right. <laughs> um, but anyways, <laughs> ba- back to my point about the joke, like... I mean, I'm sure you've been fucking. You and Scoob have both been said you look like somebody who you look nothing like. Right? Yes, yeah, everyone the airport, gets that. Yeah. Yeah. They're like this lady's like, "Oh my god, I thought you were Lamar Odom." <laughs> I was like, she was like, well, I, was "I was about say, to say, post- what are you doing on Southwest Airlines?" Is this re- is this recently? <laughs> Hell yeah, it's That's fucking funny. recent. Did you, did you throw your baked beans at her? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was eating a salad though. Yeah, so, all right. And you legit look nothing like no, Lamar. Nothing. Odom. We're nothing. just fucking both black. <laughs> I'm tired of just being black. You know what I'm saying? It just he's uh, also ten years older. You know, like he looks way different. I would venture to say though that most black dudes over six and a half feet tall probably get asked that on a regular basis. Well, are, you, are you are you a basketball people. player? Yeah, or, or just yeah. Lamar? Are Odom you are general? you some athlete? Insert you know whatever name. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you're in like a nice restaurant or some yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. But it's not like a crazy assumption. That's no. the thing is it's not even like like there's not that many people that tall. So if you run into those people, like if they came up to me and they were like, "Hey, do you play in the NBA?" That right. would be odd. That, that would, would be, be weird. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Are, yeah. Are you Muggsy Bogues? No, I'm not <laughs> saying Muggsy Bogues. <laughs> that guy, <laughs> fucking Spud Webb. Yeah, well, was he like five three? Or yeah, five, yeah. Three? five three. Yeah. yeah, they were both five three. Remember, or five, remember that? Wasn't there a picture of him and like Wilt Chamberlain uh, yeah. next to each other? Yeah. That motherfucker could dunk. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Muggsy Bogues. I mean, yeah, big dick energy. <laughs> oh yeah, um, it propels you. Keep yeah. eating your beans, see what happens. The, the, the one that always, the one that always pissed me off is like, since I have a beard. People, oh, you look Zach Galifianakis. I look insane. nothing. Yeah. It's insane nothing. that they'll like, just pick one aspect of your physical, uh, you know, pers- your physical appearance, and then connect it to some famous person. Yeah, like oh, you've got glasses. You look like fucking I don't know Albert Einstein. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's never anything good though. It's never. Uh, you know what, though? I That's will true. say that, and I do, I've never been able to see it, and I've asked other people, and they can't see it, but I have had people say, and it's always what I'm wearing, whenever I wear my fedora, people will say that I, they, I look like Justin Timberlake, and I've never seen it, but I've gotten it probably a dozen times. It's that fucking I hat. Mean, JT is a sexy motherfucker. Yeah, he's, yeah. He brought, he brought, he brought sexy I'll, ta- I'll take that all day. Yeah. I just don't see it personally. Who's he married to? Just, just Jessica Alba. <laughs> Jessica um, Biel? Jessica, Jessica Biel. Biel. She's bad. Some God damn shit. that ass. I was watching some movie recently. <sighs> I don't remember what it was. She was just like by a waterfall. I was like, I got a jerk off right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I can't even do. Look at that ass. <laughs> I think the worst I've gotten is like Adam Sandler. Someone said you look like Adam Sandler. Yeah, Adam That's Sandler. Random. He doesn't look like anybody, Adam nah, Sandler. He doesn't. And the best one I've got was Mark Ruffalo. I don't even know who that is. He plays the Hulk. Uh, Mark Ruffalo? Yeah. When people just walk around and just say shit? Oh, you look like Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Like, I mean, it's like a dare. Fuck? Today I'm going to tell someone they look like someone else. Right, yeah. Hey, Rick Ross. Hey, Rick Ross. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I was getting that in Thailand. Oh, the other everywhere. one is Jason Biggs. That one is awful. Jason, Jason Biggs. Jason Biggs. That's random. It's just Jew. Like, that's just, like, whatever, like, stereotypically Jewish actor you think It's a nice way of saying of. you look like a Jew. Yeah, exactly. It really is. <laughs> that's so weird. Yeah. Thailand, Rick Ross. I, I kind of understood that, though. Dude, what? speaking of Jew, I was fucking shooting an event. <laughs> I was shooting an event two speaking weeks ago. Speaking of Jew, I was in Germany. And- no, no, no. I was shooting an event two weeks ago, and I was commenting to this bartenderess. Uh, we were talking about the, this one person we both knew. And uh, she's like, oh, yeah, I think I fucked that guy. And then I was like, oh, is this him? And he kind of looks like this. And I'm like, oh, yeah, he's, he looks like a good little Jewish guy. And she's like, oh, no, I would never fuck a Jew. What like, the fuck? Straight up said that. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I, an, anti-Semitism creeps out like without even expecting. Oh yeah, it, it. I, yeah there it's was so ch- casual. Yeah, there was a chick I worked with, and like I've heard on multiple occasions, people will just be like, "Yeah, he looks like a Jew," or "He looks really yeah, Jewish." Yeah, yeah. Like, what the fuck? I can say that. You can. <laughs> yeah, I can. Yeah, <laughs> That's I'm entitled. Cool. Super by, Jewy. By birthright. It it is uncomfortable though when somebody is like super Jewy, dude, and you're just like, God, you're fitting every stereotype. Just stop, <laughs> stop it, please, for the love just of God. Stop. <laughs> we don't even st- live in like you know uh, New York or something like, like that. West Hollywood or West Hollywood. Is yeah. that a big? Uh, yeah, that's what yeah. I'll do that's all that But not like is. the Orthodox. Oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. Really? W- walking around on the Sabbath and everything. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. With the curls and all? big time. Yeah. Really? I don't mm-hmm. know. Spinning dreidels. 
It's Hollywood. What the fuck? Who do you think runs Hollywood? Orth- not Orthodox Jews. Orthodox, yes, Orthodox Jews run Hollywood. Yeah? Yeah, read the fucking credits of any movie. It's like the roll call was, at Hebrew school. I was hoping you'd say, read the Torah. <laughs> yeah, read the Torah. Read the Torah, <laughs> read the Torah bitch. It's in the, it's in the Learn Torah. Learn your Jew. Learn your Judaism. Shalom. And, and, and he said unto oh. Moses, you will run Hollywood. <laughs> For some reason, I was like, he's really going to say the Torah? <laughs> I read the Torah, bro. Come on, educate yourself. Fucking break out the scroll. <laughs> It's like it's like the worst too because like so many of the people who are behind the scenes making the movie are Jewish and like not as many of the actors are. I mean a lot of them yeah. still are, but not as many. And it's like the same thing. I was I was curious about when um when Taylor Mays came out of, uh came under the draft out of um USC, he was bl- a black Jew, and I thought it was pretty rare to have a Jew in in, in the NFL. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna Google this Jews in sports. They were all owners. <laughs> there was like Sandy Koufax and like three others, like Julian Edelman oh, yeah. and a few others, but all of the others were fucking owners. Sandy, he bro, he must have got so much shit. They need to make a movie about Sandy because in that era, from, yeah. from, from, yeah. when, from when he wouldn't pitch on the on the high holidays. Uh, I don't, I don't. I mean, I I know the name, but I'm just saying in that during that era because I know what yeah, era being he's a, from. A Jew in that era, yeah, in, a, in the in the spotlight. Well, and he wouldn't pitch on like Yom Kippur and shit like that. He's like, a good Jew. Yeah, fair enough. He just wanted the day off. Yeah, he's his lazy. arm was tired. He's Fuck. fucking lazy. Yeah, they, they would pitch every other day anyway. Back then, <laughs> back then oh, yeah. was, was it that bad? That uh, back then, dude. That's when they were like fucking like Babe Ruth was smoking cigars and drinking whiskey on the fucking field. Baseball dude. is still the only sport where you can be so fucking out of shape in some positions. It matter, yeah. yeah, golf too though. But most golfers now tend to be in better shape than they used to be. Well, it's because Tiger Woods yeah. came out bench pressing three hundred pounds. Yeah, and driving the ball, fucking, and, and you, there's more money to be made now yeah, too. Yeah. So it's like, you know, you can more get the more, there's more yeah. at stake. Yeah, 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 yeah for yeah. sure. It's not the good John Daly days where he'd go to Hooters afterwards and just bang down a bunch of fucking brews and smoke yeah. smoke heaters. I feel like all all sport is like that a little bit. Like you just got elevated because there's so much more money to be made now. I feel like basketball and football, you couldn't get away with it like that though. Hell Ever no. you think? Ever no, no I think I mean, in the seventies and stuff they were dude, talking there's about so much running though. I mean, maybe not. I'm not talking about like during the games though. Like people used to be chewing tobacco and they still do sometimes. Like dude, in the Ron out- test in the outfield, you'd, you'd be blacked out. He was talking. He was talking. All he was like, well, yeah, when, we, when, when he's shooting shots or shooting no, guns, drink, drink during the game. He was like, yeah, during the game we'd go fucking take shots. I mean, somebody threw a drink on him during. Yeah, the game. but he was like, we drink really? all the time. Yeah, Ron Artest was talking about that. I mean, that sounds like yeah. hell. Could you imagine trying to play basketball drunk? That's what yeah. I'm saying. That sounds like hell, dude. That sounds I mean, so it's miserable. Fun, to be honest, I played a little buzz. Before. I mean, yeah. or I wouldn't do it like off some beers. Could you do it hungover? I mean, yeah, hangover, hangover goes away after a while. Everywhere, if I was Jalen Rose said that that uh, what's it called? That flu game. Uh, Michael Jordan was actually hungover. That doesn't surprise me. Oh, really? Me. Oh, yeah. that, it the wasn't infamous actually, flu that's game. That's what he says. I don't. I mean, who the fuck knows? And it was through some. He never said it out in the open. It's through somebody else, and they said, but, "Dude, back in the day when there was no uh, social media and no cameras on phones, yeah, like you cool. could just go do whatever the fuck you wanted." Yeah, yeah fucking stupid now, cell phones ruined everything. Now these girls are screenshotting your DMs when you try to slide in them. I mean, fuck. Oh, that, yeah. that, see, that's some bull. There needs to be some kind of code. <laughs> so what? I got a wife and kids. <laughs> yeah, fucking shut it's my Don't your put business. me on blast. Yeah. That's my life, not yours. My <laughs> <laughs> My family life is not your business. Yeah, suck this dick and shut up. I think the screenshot of anything that chicks say or that you say to chicks or vice versa, yeah, vice versa, yeah. is is like that's like being a rat. Yeah, 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 I agree. Snitches that, that, get stitches. That, yeah, shit, yeah, exactly. that shit was in private. Yes, yes. I sent you my dick in private. In private. In private. <laughs> like when people put others on blast, you know, for like sliding the DMs. There's somebody very specific I know online, but I'd like to say my name, but I will not. But she puts like DMs that people send her. Oh, she puts yes. the screenshot yep. I know you're in about. the fucking story. Yep. It's like you And then contacts she sells the- ass on the internet. Thank yeah. you. I'm like, come on, what are you what are you fucking there doing are right few now? Things as hypocritical as that. And then she wow. and then she sends messages to their parents and shit. To their like parents, to the to their job. She she got a guy fucking fired over, over a, a Did Tinder she really? conversation. Did she really? Over a Tinder conversation. And the guy, because I went and looked at the guy's page, and he, like, put a bunch of shit up. Like, this is ridiculous. He's like, yeah, I was, you know, being rude, but... You know, I know who she is, and like I thought, I was being funny. What, what did he say? I mean, it was it was pretty ridiculous, but it wasn't it wasn't crazy. I just want to know what would get somebody fired from a job. It was just a bunch of sexual Tinder. shit. Like, you know, like, I'll eat so, your ass. Like, yeah, it was, so, like that. it was like dick pic right away. And How a bunch did he of, like, get fired though? Because she contacted the work. 
She contacted See, work with the. I'm like, like that. Those are the kids in elementary school. They got the shit kicked out of them because they yeah. were fucking bitches. Dude, I hit her up and I was like, "This is not acceptable." She's fuck like, no. She's like, "Fuck you." You know, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, this is harassment. I was like, "All right, never mind." Bitch, you're not even, selling ass I'm on like, the net. I was like, "You're not even someone I can just speak to about that." You're so off the yeah, chain. And, like, and, and uh, she went to selling ass so quick. Yeah, yeah. I almost, there's a, there's a few of them. There's more than one. There's more than one that I, I hadn't thought about thing. her in a long time. Now I'm mad. I kind of want her premium, but I'm not giving her twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do want to see you do want to see them titty nipples. Wait, time out. What's this premium shit? It's like the, the premium Snapchat, Snapchat dogs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, twenty dollars for Snapchat. life. You get the new until yes. they stop posting after one week or yeah, some I shit. Like, hey, I, would, I would never. Try. And you're sliding in the DMs every day, like, bitch, I fucking love you. I paid you. <laughs> wait, so wait, it's I tw- showed you my bank account. Please <laughs> respond. You got my Venmo, bitch. <laughs> wait, it's twenty dollars to Snapchat, and you have access to these accounts, or you're yeah, paying? So I, I'm, you're paying them, the the user. Oh, I follow so many of these girls' free versions, and they'll wait. wait how, did, how did I don't know how it works either? Can you yeah, that's it? what I want to know. Yeah. So it's like a Snapchat. Uh, they'll have their their main account, which is like a public one, yeah. and they'll post slutty shit, and they'll be like, "Oh, like for pay, pay really naughty naughty access. Private Yeah, account. then they have access to the private one or whatever. Oh, okay. okay, but then when you pay, who are you paying? You're paying them. The, 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 it's the like, individual it's like a, it's like user. A Venmo or uh, fucking what's what's the Apple Apple Snapcash, yeah, uh, yeah. Apple, yeah. Apple, Apple Pay, some I, shit. I cash, yeah. <laughs> I cash, <laughs> and they're wow. generating incomes just off of nothing. Yeah. They can make good money doing that I, shit too. Just, I, why? Sure. Why are you guys paying for this? Yeah, yeah. you're encouraging it's this free. fucking shit. It's free everywhere. Why would you pay for anything? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Why? Oh, I thought you were saying you paid. Oh, yeah, I thought you paid no. too. No, no, I, no. Pay. I, I oh. do the freebies. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The freebies all day long. Trust me, there's one picture where I was like, <laughs> you know what? You might get $20. <laughs> there, if, you, there if, you happened, should, if you get one more shot. There have been a few. There was one that she had like a sex tape she was selling. I was, I was like, like, oh, I might, I might get that one. I mean, I but then, they, but, then they, but then they got your info. Oh, they do? Well, they got your name and shit. Oh, and yeah. Demo, yeah. yeah. You, fucking, you can't have that. Send I mean, that to my mom. Look at yeah. your son is buying. <laughs> yeah. Your son is buying smut. Or then say, say something crazy happens. Like she gets busted in a prostitution ring or yeah, some yeah, shit. Yeah, and and now your it. info's in there. And now you get caught up. And now you're on. There's like a big and Now they've got lineup. you fucking a horse. And now you're fucking a horse. <laughs> and then somebody else died. Now you're in jail for 30 years. And you're eating beans. And you're eating fucking baked beans. And then you look like Lamar Odom because you're smoking crack because you're in prison now. I mean, your whole life is fucked. Up. Your life just unravels, <laughs> and that's all there is to it. It's a slippery slope. I want to know. I want to talk to somebody Ma- who pays for this. Moral shit, of the story: know. Don't pay for porn. I want to. I, I want to know what the pay uh, the pay per view gets. Dude. I, I have a I have a friend who um who had a subscription to Browsers. I mean, one, 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 one of, one of the few people who actually paid for it, and he's like, they canceled my membership. Because he would give the password to everybody, and he's he said they they sent a message. There was one point <laughs> where there was like seven people logged on at the same time, and like one was in Paris, <laughs> <laughs> one like two were in Arizona, Dubai, one was, one was in San Francisco. <laughs> like they were all over the fucking world. Well, it, once one person gets, it, then they give it to somebody else. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Exactly. How with the Bang Bros account? Yeah, yeah. we was on bros. fire for like three months. Fuck oh, Bang Bros. I forgot about that's Bang that's Bros. That's where you got to go on the VPN. Yeah. Bro, that's when you just like you. You wake up in the morning and then you press download on like 50 of them. Yeah. You go to work and you come, come back. Home, yeah. Boy, you got like 50 episodes right <laughs> there. Oh, fuck it. I'm all about Reddit porn on Reddit now. Porn That's the Reddit only way to go. You yeah. know what though? Fucking you kids today, you got no clue with the shit we used to have to do to fucking watch porn. Yeah. Yep. I like, forgot about the downloading you, of the videos, but yeah, that's what we used to have to do. Yeah. Every virus you can imagine on your computer. Oh, yeah. Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's no other option. Like, you have 75 yeah. pop-ups a second. <laughs> and, and you have the three-second clips from Thumbzilla uh-huh. or some shit. Do you guys remember the, uh, they were on the, not by my house, but like a couple blocks away, there was a, uh, like a newspaper stand. Not stand, but like an actual thing you put quarters in. And it was porn. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, was like, it wasn't yeah. hardcore, but it was like softcore it was, porn. It was like the order, like basically, it was like a like a hooker magazine. Essentially. Basically, yeah. yeah. And then I would find the one that was next to the SF Chronicle because then I could kind of play it off which one I was getting, and I was like thirteen. The, you, you you did the old back, goes, you, no did, really you did the old ba- you did the old Back to the Future too, where you had it like the porn inside the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What? I would just make because there was a bunch of stands right there, so you could do it quickly without anyone look. 
No one would say anything. Hey, that guy's getting poor. Hey, yeah. he's getting poor. Chase him down. He's, he's eating beans, he's too. Eating beans. <laughs> he's eating beans and jerking off. <laughs> Next time a girl asks for fucking, if I, if I have any lube, I'm just going to pull a can of baked beans out of the, <laughs> out of the, out of the, out of the nightstand. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I see you're a man of culture. Yeah. <laughs> this, beans, this baked beans thing is going to catch on. I can feel oh, it. Oh, it's, no, it's, it's already been caught it's on. It's been, been caught on. on. I got baked beans in the car right Bra- now. Bradley, Bradley's not on the interwebs as much as us. As us. No, That's I true. try to avoid the interwebs. The, the original joke was some guy was eating beans in a, in a theater, movie theater. In a movie yeah. theater, yeah. Somebody, somebody yelled out, this nigga's eating beans. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone started laughing. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> so dumb. But Dom, you got to go, right? Yeah, yeah. man. I was, I was about right. to give Bradley. Yeah, yeah. I figured. I, I was kind of like, hey, it feels like that time. Yeah, I'm like kind of itching around a little bit, moving. Yeah, yeah. Moving. All right, well, ladies and gents. It's a little been shorter a, one, but it's you been know. a pleasure. Mm. It's good to be back. I didn't introduce us, so we're not going to do an outro either. Nope. We don't drop the E though. I mean, we can. I mean, it's big. Maybe we go one without. Let's go one without. Go one without. All right. Yeah. Sure. Just fade to black and we all die. I'm with it. <laughs> Are we fading? We're fading. <laughs>